Hey guys, welcome to today's prediction. Uh, it's going to be another 2024 election prediction. And this time we're doing Donald Trump, the former president of the United States, and you know, he will win 2024, against Joe Biden, the incumbent president. And then we have Tulsi Gabbard, a U.S. representative from Hawaii, uh, running as an independent. And of course, it's not certified that she would run as an independent, but some believe that she would not very many, but some, um, for she is not enjoying the Democratic party right now and it would kind of be a betrayal to them so we're gonna see how Tulsi Gabbard will affect um, the candidacies of uh, Biden and Trump because Tulsi Gabbard she is a conservative I will point that out so she will affect the Democratic Party and possibly take some votes away from Trump so safe states for Biden I would say the West Coast um you know all these typical safe Democratic states on the East Coast now along with New York uh, Illinois um, and then we'll get to Hawaii, because Hawaii isn't safe for, uh, for, uh, to, or, uh Joe Biden yet, because Tulsi Gabbard, this is Tulsi Gabbard's home state. And these were, are all the states that I do think would be safe for, uh, Donald Trump. Um, you know, I'll give him West Virginia, I'll give him Iowa and Ohio, not much shift to the right from 2016 to 2020. And I really do think he could st hang on to Texas, saying how unpopular the uh, President Biden is right now, along with Alaska. Um, I think the state of Hawaii would go to Tulsi Gabbard, just saying it's her home state. I really do think that Hawaiian voters would turn out for her heavily. But, um... State like, you know, generally conservative states that usually go to the Democrats, those are going to be the ones where Tulsi Gabbard is going to do good. So that means uh, states like Maine, states like New Hampshire, uh, states like uh, Minnesota would be one too. You know, uh, I mean, Nevada, you could say, New Mexico and Colorado, not, not Colorado, New Mexico though. You know, those are going to be states where Tulsi Gabbard will excel, but she will affect Biden heavily in every single state. Um, coming on the state of Minnesota, just because I, w I would give the state to Biden if he was popular. Joe Biden is so unpopular, but uh, Tulsi Gabbard, this is a state where Tulsi Gabbard will excel. Tulsi Gabbard will do very well in a state like Minnesota, so I do think uh, Trump will win the state of Minnesota. Um, really, Indiana went to him in 2020, would stay with him. Um, Moving on to Wisconsin, this is another state where Tulsi Gabbard is going to take away many, many Democratic votes and some Republican ones. It's a swing state. I'll give Wisconsin to Donald Trump. That The same goes for Michigan, Pennsylvania. All these swing states are going to go to Donald Trump. It's as simple as that, right? So, um, all those states, um, Arizona, I see going to him, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, let's get to New Mexico. New Mexico is a very, or I shouldn't say very, but it is a conservative state on the Democratic uh, and Republican side. Both parties are pretty conservative here. It's a generally conservative state. And this is a state that went to Biden in, by 10 points. Tulsi Gabbard's going to win more than 10 points in a state like New Mexico. I could see we're getting 15 as far as 20 percentage points. So because of that, that's a huge takeoff from Biden. So I will give the state of New Mexico to Donald Trump. But I really do just narrowly think that Colorado would stay in the Democratic column. I mean, it really is a blue state. I don't see it shifting that much with Tulsi Gabbard saying that this is a very progressive state. And Tulsi Gabbard will not do ex excellent in a state like Colorado. Uh, Nevada, I think, would go to Donald Trump, another conservative state where Tulsi Gabbard will excel. Florida, North Carolina, two states that Trump won in 2020, I think, would go to him again. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard's going to win many states, especially or many votes, especially in Florida. So I do think she would win, you know, as I said, a lot of votes. Therefore, a weakening Biden here, along with Georgia. It's just such a swing state where I can't really see it going uh, to any other candidate. Um... Uh, you know, Trump, I don't think, could win in Virginia. Remember, Glenn Youngkin won the governorship by distance him, distancing himself away from the Trump administration. You know, especially with Biden being unpopular, Youngkin won. But Trump, the, he's unpopular here, and it's as simple as that. But, uh, New Hampshire, I, I, Tulsi Gabbard will do well here. But, I mean, saying that Hillary won it by less than a percentage point 2016, I do think it would have to go to Donald Trump. Um... And Maine's, uh, oops, sorry, Maine's second district, um, I do think would go to, uh, would go to 
Donald Trump, but Maine's first and Maine at large will go to Biden. So Trump wins in a landslide with 231 electoral votes to Biden's 203 to Tulsi Gabbard's 4.